Hello everyone, welcome you all in my YouTube channel Engineering Guru Venerandi. In this video, we will cover new topic centrifugal clutch. As we know that a clutch is a mechanical device is used to transmit the power and motion from driving shaft to driven shaft so that the driven shaft can be started or stopped as per the need without stopping the driving shaft. Clutch is installed between the engine and the gearbox. Let's see with engineering guru by subscribing this YouTube channel. Follow on this FB page. Join us on Telegram channel, uh, on WhatsApp channel or WhatsApp group. Now this is classification of clutches. Uh, clutches is divided into four types: uh, mechanical, pneumatic, hydraulic, and electromagnetic. Mechanical is divided in positive clutch and friction clutch. The so, friction clutch is divided into three types: uh, plate or disc clutch, corn clutch, and centrifugal clutch. So in previous video, I already covered plate clutch or disc clutch and corn clutch. You can refer this video from here and in this video uh, I will cover the centrifugal clutch. This is the schematic diagram of centrifugal clutch. Uh, there are the main part like this is driving shaft, this is driven shaft. This part is called uh, rim or pulley. This part is called lining. This is shoe, spider. This is a top view of centrifugal clutch. This is shoe, spider, and this is driven shaft. The engagement is possible with the help of centrifugal force. That's why it is called centrifugal clutch. Now let's see the engagement of shoe with the driven shaft take place due to centrifugal force. Hence, it's called centrifugal clutch. So here, uh, this is the shoe. This is called shoe and this is lining centrifugal force apply in this direction means outward direction so due to this engagement is possible it consists of number of shoe four to six on inside a rim of the pulley as shown in figure means here uh, there are the four number of shoe this is one two three and four so this install inside the rim of the pulley. The outer surface of shoe are covered with friction lining. In this figure, we can see that this is the uh, friction lining. So whenever this uh, driving shaft rotate due to centrifugal force, this lining will directly contact this pulley and due to this en engagement is possible. The shoe are held in the slot of a spider with the springs which keep the shoe in disengaged position. So here uh, this is the spider and this is the spring. So this shoe are held in slot like this. The spinder with the spring keep in disengaged position. When the speed of driving shaft is increased, the centrifugal force also increase which result in moment shoe away from the central in radial slot. So uh, whenever uh, the speed uh, is driving shaft increase, the centrifugal force is also increased like this in this direction. You can see here this, this directions. With the result in moment shoe away from the central of the radial slot like this. When the centrifugal force exit the springs force, the shoe comes in the contact with the rim of the pulley and power transmit some start. So as we already discussed that, so whenever uh, driving shaft speed increase, the centrifugal force is increased. And whenever the centrifugal force is increased, so this uh, shoe is directly contact with this rim, rim pulley here. And the power transmission is start. So this is the basic concept of centrifugal force. So when the speed of driving shaft decrease, the centrifugal force also decrease. So whenever the driving shaft speed is decrease, so this uh, centrifugal force is also decrease 
and this move in this in this direction inward direction first one to do and right now in the group mentally sir this is again group youtube channel open this and subscribe this for more update uh, various playlist available here you can see uh, this is for uh, various subject this is for velocity diagram uniform velocity for cam profiles in the table this and more video more playlist are here so when the centrifugal force is less than spring force the friction so disconnect from the rim of the pulley and power transmission is stopped so it is very simple to understand so whenever this driving sub uh, speed is decrease the centrifugal force is less so due to this spring force so this rim pulley and this uh, lining or we can say shoe in this inward direction and the power transmission is stopped so since the centrifugal clutch transmit motion at certain speed and disengage below this speed it is normally used where automatic engagement and disengagement take place such as gearless two wheelers like activa and moped so this type of uh, centrifugal force is widely used in non gear or we can say gearless two wheelers the activa and moped so this is the basic concept of this centrifugal force so if you find my video so very helpful my... you can like comment share and subscribe my youtube channel one more thing that is the very important that is important question for the university exams so questions may be asked explain with nearest case centrifugal clutch and question may be asked using the nearest case explain the working of centrifugal clutch so this is the most important uh, theory or we can say concept uh, for the university exam so this is the end of this video lecture stay on this channel more video will be come of the subject basic mechanical engineering Thank you.